Hello, this is Matthew Marco with AbnormalMapping.com. Welcome back to this Let's Play of Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. I uh, had a recording mishap. Elgato ate one of my videos, so we're going to have to replay this set of levels. Um, because I already played them, I'm uh, mostly just going to blow through them. This is going to be a short video. Maybe we'll do an extra level or two. Um, we got booze houses, which is pretty great. Uh, in this level, we can... You know what? I want to fall off, actually. Or die. I want to see if I can get the bonus objective here, which is to do this level in four touches. Which I think I can do. Um, this boo house, however, is hilarious to me. Because it's uh, true ridiculousness. Move that over. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think we can... I don't know how you do this in four touches, actually. Because that's already four, and I have one, I have more stuff I need to get, I think. No, I don't, actually. Um, come through here. Right. I got this. I'm the best. Uh, the headlamp can harm booze, which is pretty great. Um... Yeah, I'll blow through these levels really fast. Maybe I'll do a couple more. Uh, why not, right? Okay. Blizzard on the Star Express. I already got everything on here. I actually had to play this twice when we did it. Um, this is just a really gorgeous level, though. We're heading down there. We're on this beautiful train. Grab that gem. Bunch of these jerks. Oops. That was my fault. Oh, no, no. He saw me, he saw me. I guess we'll just make a break for it. Our buddy's in there. Yeah, look at how cool this all looks. Oh, so nice. Is he give me a mushroom? Oh, thank God. You got a one up. Cabins. <laughs> Goodbye, blue shy guy. <laughs> Grab a gem. Slide that across. We're cranking through this level now. I'm still not really keen on this touch stuff, unfortunately. I just don't think it serves this game much. Oh, another mushroom. These small blocks we can I can just touch screen away. Which is pretty great. Whoops. I'll take that. And we're out. But oh, what's this? Oh, got interrupted by this dumb bird. Operation Rescue Toadette. Fight time! <laughs> we'll help you. Don't worry about it, Toadette. Got this covered. This big giant tower. 
I did everything on this one also, so I'm not going to be getting the gems. We're just going to be going through it, because this level's a real pain. Blows a lot of uh, wind around. Like a real jerk. Easier to just make our way through it as expediently as we can. If you aren't going for the gems, well, for one, if you aren't going for the gems, what are you even here for? But if you aren't going for the gems, these games, this, uh, these stages are remarkably short. Uh, it's actually refreshing for, like, an another playthrough. We made it! Look at all this treasure. Bird's just gonna be a jerk. Got him twice. That was nice. Hey, Toadette. Yeah, I'll take that. Easy. No. Don't do that. This is terrible. We got him. Awesome. Toadette reunited again. Yeah, we're just dancing. Very excited. And we won. We get some credits here. Um. One of the things I think is really interesting about this game is it seems like it's divided up into almost like, like there's bonus levels, but then there's like three separate games or two. I don't know how many there's, I know there's over 70 chapters. I don't know how many numbers exactly, but over 70 implies less than 80. Um, and if it's 18 per chapter, I would assume maybe three main chap, three main like game, like books or whatever and then episodes let's say three episodes and then the bonus levels that makes sense to me that would make them all about the same length um but I, it's curious that, that it's split up like this especially since there's credits um i wonder if maybe this was originally meant to be like a standalone eShop game that they were just going to make like three of and then given how many assets are reused, uh, it, it's probably easier on file size to just package it together as one thing. But they had them made, so they just put them all on the on a disc together. I don't know. Because um, they do that with ePicross. I, I mean, it's a different thing for sure, but they have this Picross series on the 3DS eShop that's just, they release like one of them every couple of months and it's just more Picross levels and they're like five bucks a piece and it's great. But... I, I think it would have been a cool experiment if they had done this with Toad instead of just releasing a $40 product, but I think the fact that it's $40 speaks to that. Like, its its length feels like downloadable uh, experiments uh, put in, like, a wrapper. 
almost like what they did with NES Remix uh, 1 and 2. Like, once they put those out, they package them up into a thing. And that's interesting to me. So yeah, we uh, beat the Watchtower. Uh, normally, that would have unlocked this episode 2, um, which we click and go into. I don't know if we're going to get the first video, and that's a real shame. Um, but it opens like the last one. Um, like the very beginning of the game where you're on the platform and you go get the star. Instead of uh, Toadette being kidnapped, it's Toad. And, like, the way that that plays out identically interests me in that maybe, like, it's clearly, like, this was the framework of, like, we were going to maybe sell these on, oh, this is the, the kind of the same game framework but a new set of puzzles. And then flip the script by Toad getting kidnapped and now you're Toadette. Which is cool. I like Toadette a lot. The, uh, the interesting thing about Toadette is, uh, initially I was kind of anti-Toadette. I have been since Mario Kart, because Toad, like, Toad Toad, like Super Mario Bros. 2 Toad to me, was always an agendered character. Um, I feel like their voice and their dress and everything was very androgynous. Um, look at these charging chucks. Being cuties, we can kill them with things. We can also run off the edge. Um, uh, it was very androgynous, and... Um, so the inclusion of Girl Toad, almost by its very definition, made, like, erase the androgyny and make, made Girl Toad into just Toad, uh, which always bothered me a lot. Um, as someone who, like, identifies with queer characters a lot, uh, I, I liked the idea of them just accidentally making this agendered character, just like kind of Birdo is accidentally this trans character, uh... <laughs> Like, it's clearly not, in like, on purpose by Nintendo, because they wouldn't do that, but because of weird mishaps and the way fan communities adopt ideas as their own, it's become that, and that's really interesting to me. Yeah, he's dead. Um, and so, to like, uh, erasing that up Toad was really sad to me, but then the producer said uh, that, uh, no, it's not... a about, like, girl toads and boy toads, uh, toads don't have gender, they just choose to look the way they look. Which is the most Nintendo passing the buck on something that could be controversial statement. Uh, just like all the Tomodachi Life stuff. But what it actually does is create this idea of toads as agendered beings and everything else being gender performance, and that's really interesting to me. Um, they accidentally walked into maybe the queerest game character possible in, like, a uh, major studio space uh, without even trying, and that's hilarious. Um, and that's great to me because then, like, you have these characters who n choose their gender, and then, like, that then it it's it erases the problem of oh, it, it, does Girl Toad just become the Smurfette of token toadness? It's like no, this is a character that chose femininity as a thing because that's cool. Um, like, this toad chooses to identify with pink and pigtails, and that's a great thing, and they can embrace that. And that's a thing that, like, is shown as, like, an exemplary thing to do. Uh, just in the same way that Captain Toad chose to be this adventurer, Indiana Jones-type toad. And, uh, like, in the book, it's they use he for him, so I'll use uh, male pronouns. And Toadette is obviously, like, identifying as female, so we'll use, uh, you know, fem feminine pronouns. But... Like, you just create this world in which toads create their own pronouns by default. Uh, or you're just like Toad Toad and it's, uh, you know, they. I would call Toad a they. Um, Here I go! <laughs> sorry, uh, this is just kind of my thought process on this because I think it's actually really interesting. Uh, I'm, I'm sure they didn't do it on purpose, but I'm really glad that this is how this exists. I have to go look at the screen now. Um, I want to see if I can get this bonus thing, but it's actually really hard looking. It's a bunch of, uh, I have to get a ton of coins for it. I 
just don't know where I'd find that many coins. Honestly. Did I get a hundred? Is it 140? I might have gotten it. Um, See, so yeah, this game like speaks to me as a you know a queer person as this like incredibly accidentally queer game, and I think that's a thing to celebrate. That it's also just the cutest, most approachable, warm thing. I think speaks to at least my uh, interpretation of a lot of queerness. That is this very welcoming, inviting thing. Oh, we got it! Awesome. We're the best. Um, and I, it, it's just pleasant. Like, I'm happy this happened. It's clearly an accident, but I'm willing to embrace happy accidents at this point when it comes to representation, given how poor everything typically is. Let's love all these cool signs, all these charge and chucks. We're just gonna avoid it. We're just gonna move on. It's, uh, I got everything on this level. Um... The signs point to places we can stand, but we wouldn't even need the signs because you can walk up to them and see where it's falling and stuff. Slide here. Head on in. Grab the star. Yeah. Good job, Toadette. I should not sing with the ending thing because it doesn't line up right because the Elgato's dumb. Let's hope it didn't eat this video again. Um, onward, Toadette. Feed all the Goombas. I thought it was get the golden mushroom in this one, and I was very disappointed when I discovered what the actual goal was. Because I did get the golden mushroom. Because, of course I did. Um, why wouldn't I? Oh, okay. Can't run into them that way. Got it. I will not do that again. Let's see if we can get a mushroom somewhere up here. Maybe. Yeah, if we can kill all the Goombas, I'll feel alright about this, uh, having to replay this stage. Come down, and the water level's raised. Um, we could go get all those coins, but I kinda don't care, to be honest with you. And then we can go over here, and this is a pick, one of the power picks. Oh, we got him. Awesome. We're the best. We're the best. Toadette is the best. Let's go get this star. Can't sing along. Sorry. It's just gonna be me singing clearly, like, uh, seemingly at random. Okay. Uh, we're in new stuff. Let's do maybe another two, maybe? This has been way shorter now than it was originally. Um, and I said all the things I said the first time I recorded this, so I'm mostly just talking about Toadette and how cool I think she is. So let's uh, try some new levels. Why not? <laughs> Oh, we can go up here. Awesome. Toadette's the best. Mushroom we don't need. Pow blocks. We don't have anything to hit them with. There we go. Good job, Toadette. 
pretty amazing. Okay. Well, that taken care of. Let's uh, go back this way. Head on down. Okay, we're doing pretty good. We have a ton of coins. What's coins over here? Yeah. We have so many coins. I don't even know how you get over there. Like there's clearly... Like there's no place to fall? Hmm. Okay. Well... Oh, there's Luigi back there. That's cool. Didn't take any damage. Boo. I'll do that on my own. We have different, uh, we have more coins galore. Um, I, I did the pickaxe one. We'll try the cherry one. If I get the pickaxe one, I'll show it to you next video. That's pretty good. Just a grab and feast. Okay. Um, let's do one more. We can do sliding slab shuffle. Why not? Here I go! Ooh, this looks cool. Uh, no, no, no. Sorry, I'm trying to do this without looking at the thing, because... I feel like my mic gets messed up when I'm busy staring at the wrong thing. There's a... something in here, right? No? Maybe? Oh yeah, here we go. Awesome. Take that. Come across. Is there a reason to go down there? Oh, yes there is. I mean, we have to go down here, for one, but... Cool. Okay, we're doing pretty good here. I'm feeling alright. Got a mushroom. Third gem. Don't have the don't have any bonus stuff. Wonder if it's just don't take any damage or maybe it's limited moves. It might be touches. I feel like these levels are always touches. Yep, four touches. We can do that. I'll do that on my own. Okay, that's it for today. Uh, we'll continue on next time. Uh, once again, I'm Matthew Marco, abnormalmapping.com, abnormal mapping on iTunes. Check us out, podcast about video games. Um, leave a like, subscribe, I don't know, whatever. What, what are the YouTube things? Uh, come back next time for more Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Thank you.